latest developments tonight on a boil water advisory affecting tens of thousands of Rhode Islanders in South County. The Department of Health issued the advisory yesterday for parts of Narragansett and South Kingstown after E. coli bacteria was found in the water supply. And just a short time ago, the Narragansett Fire Department says officials have been working to clean and disinfect the system, but it could take days before the problem is resolved. Eyewitness News reporter Eric Halperin has been in South County all afternoon learning how this issue is impacting people. He joins us live now from South Kingstown with the South County Mobile Newsroom. Eric. Kim, this is now night two that some areas here in South Kingstown and Narragansett are under this boil water advisory. That includes residences, people, and even a local animal shelter that's now getting help in the form of bottled water. Cases upon cases of bottled water line the halls of the South Kingstown Animal Shelter. The water turns on, but according to the Rhode Island Department of Health, it's not safe to drink. For staff at the shelter, that creates an extra problem as stray animals arrive in vulnerable states. They usually have a weakened immune system. So the first thing that we're worried about is those weakened immune systems. Are they going to be the first ones to get sick? Shelter employee Amanda Nelson is now giving bottled water to the animals to drink and using it to wash dishes. The shelter doesn't have a stove to boil tap water, and Nelson says even if they did, it would be too time consuming because animals spending time outside need water right away. Last night, the shelter posted on Facebook pleading for donations of bottled water. Saturday, those donations began pouring in. When I saw the call for water and I was going grocery shopping anyhow this morning, I picked up a case. We're animal lovers, so we'll do anything we can to help and save the animals. According to Nelson, about 50 different people brought in water. I was, I was actually very touched by how much people have come forward. Here's a map showing all the areas impacted by the boil water advisory. In total, almost 40,000 customers are affected. E. coli was detected in the water supply for those people. The Department of Health says any water used for things like drinking, cooking, brushing teeth, or washing dishes should be boiled for at least a minute before using. And so far, the Department of Health says no one has reported getting sick from the water. A full list of the exact areas that are affected and the department's people in those areas should contact if they have questions is up on our website, WPRI.com. Live in South Kingston, I'm Eric Halpern, Eyewitness News.